Yeah, just so proud of our fight down the stretch. You know how many of these games that we haven't come out on top of tight games down to the wire and we just didn't execute down the stretch and this one we did. You know, we got the stops that we needed down the stretch, big rebounds. Um, that's why this one sitting here right next to me with the seven rebounds, we win the glass because of her. Um, Macy had eight as well. So, uh, so much of this um, season has been about some adversity and trials and tough times and like this was a game that I think the team saw like we can do this we can absolutely do this so really proud of them uh you know, coach just talked about execution uh 4.5 seconds left you drive the basket opening did you guys have to talk a little bit about what was going through your mind at that moment yeah you know uh we had the timeout and I think you know I always joke with coach Sam she knows I want the ball she knows like I want to be there in that moment and I think it's just a big trust thing and just really grateful you know for her trust in me, especially as such a young player, to put the ball in my hands in that situation. So I knew I just had to take care of it from there. Macy, talk a little bit about your performance. Linden Wood's a team that you've played very well against these past four games you've played them over your career. What, what is it about Linden Wood that you find success? Um, I'm not really sure. Like, I don't think too much about it that it's Lindenwood in general. It's just this game I came out, and I think the whole team came out with a lot of energy and, and, and intensity, and we know that these next upcoming games really, really matter for making the tournament, and that's our, all of our end goals. So I just tried to play my butt off just to, you know, give us a better chance to get one game closer to making the tournament. So. Coach, Yeah, it's just all about a grinding of getting stops, you know, and I think Liv was in with that bunch that did that, just continued to compile three or four stops in a row, you know, and that gives you some life. Um, and in that third quarter, like, that was, that was the, the reason why we were able to have such a good scoring output. We got some buckets in transition. We ran the floor a little bit better because you got stops. You know, you got stops and you got a rebound. You were able to attack a little bit more. Um, and we've been saying this, like, this is three quarters under 20 points. That wins you a basketball game if you can hold a team for three quarters under 20 points. Uh, talk about the team's rebounding as a whole, as well as the individual self. Uh, you, you finish with seven rebounds and the team outscores or out rebounds from 40 to 33. I think it was a lot about being in the right place and also just having my teammates pushing me, saying great rebound, that makes me want to go get another one, you know. Um, we've talked a lot about being down on the boards and that's not what we want and this was a size advantage for us so we just really took advantage of it. And coach, just yeah, holy holy cow, the Chick-fil-A cow just walked through this room. And I was saying holy cow when Liv came in today and was just a rebounding machine. And this is senior week, you know, and so we've been telling her, like, put a smile on because this is for you and this is all your hard work coming to fruition. Um, really great crowd out there, too. We got the end of the men's, the men's crowds coming in right now. Just a really amazing day and night. Uh, a blackout cancer game. Um, so many of our women were playing for so many people they knew that have gone through a really tough and challenging time. Um, some of them made it through that tough and challenging time and some of them didn't. Um, so, so much about this night is about others um, and about serving others. Um, and so tonight was, was what we did as a group and as a team. Yeah, I would say it's not just good free throw shooting, it's putting yourself in position to get to the free throw line. So being aggressive, driving it under control, putting yourselves in a place where now a foul gets called because you were so aggressive and under control, and now you get to go to the free throw line. We are a really good free throw shooting team, so I would say we need to get to the free throw line even more than you know those 14 times that we did. Um, but just a credit to them because they, they were the ones who did all that. Sorry, do you want to ask a question? No, go ahead, Olivia. Yeah, you know, I think that's been a struggle of ours all year where we haven't held teams to under 70. And look what happens when you hold a team to under 70. Like, you put yourself in position to win a basketball game. You know, so just that focus and that um, understanding of we can be a good defensive team. We just have to execute. We have to not have memory lapses. We have to look at the bench and know what defensive scheme we're in. Um, all of those good things. So, yes, Eddie, <laughs> great to see you too. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is too much. Like, 
Yeah, and then the OVC standings, they're very close to us. So this is like a, you're clawing back and forth. Like, who's going to come out on top of this and potentially play themselves into an OVC tournament? That's what we're trying to do. That's what they're trying to do. And that's what a lot of teams are trying to do that we're going to finish playing here. You know, so another one coming in here on Saturday with SEMO and it's senior day, you know, they're going to be clawing to get themselves into a place of playing for an OVC tournament too, so. Yeah, we have five games left, and for us, every game is really, really important. You know, like we would love to take three or four of those five, and that's our goal here. We want to get ourselves into a position um, to play for this and to be vying back and forth, um, and, and it's, a, it's a battle, you know, but our team sees the opportunity, and I feel they're very excited about the opportunity. So. Yeah, it's like, we've done this so many times, it's like, we, we got one. Like, we got one, you know what I mean? So I think that part of it is like, our team can now feel like we can do this, we can win a close game. All of these games, I feel, are gonna be pretty close, and so it's just about that execution down the stretch, um, and so just really great that we were able to come out on the other end of this one. And then the outlook for Steve on Saturday, welcome, welcoming them for Senior Day, what's the outlook for? Yeah, um, a really good, tough, athletic group. Um, you know, we're going to have our same defensive mindset going into this game and understanding what we have to do on that side of the ball to be really successful. And then we got to take care of the ball. We've got to make our 21 turnovers, 15 or 18, and it's going to be a good night. Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you so much, Owen.